Well, every little thing he does is magic. I should sing that. Every little thing he does is magic. That is a police song. Is that how it goes? If you could recognize it at all. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's how it goes at all. But it also perfectly describes our first guest today. We have magician Lee Terbozik, <laughs> who's getting ready to perform a show at Liberty Magic all about the most famous magician of all time, Harry Houdini. Although, Lee, you, you might be up there. You, you're giving him a run for his money, I would I'm say. I'm trying. Yeah. I'm trying, yeah. And so this new show that you're doing is kind of like a revamped version it of is. something you've, you've done. I did this show in 2019, uh, The Life and Death of Harry Houdini. Uh, and then we had the pandemic and then I had to sit on these ideas that I had from the original run and now I've integrated them into this resurgence of the show. That's awesome. So talk to us about, you brought some things here. I brought some really cool share. stuff to show you guys. These are actual things that Harry owned. This is a piece of his letterhead that he would uh, he would sign letters to and his little crest right Ooh, there. Do you have oh. something similar? This is it, yeah. This, this. No, no, I mean, do you have your own? Oh, letterhead? I have my own, yeah, yeah I have okay. my own too. <laughs> I, I write <laughs> letters, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so this is something cool that I've, I've made uh, recreations of this that everybody that comes to the show, you're gonna be receiving a letter from Harry Houdini on, on one of his things. Um, I also brought with me a, uh, a guest book that people are gonna be signing as they come into the show. Because when you come to see the life and death of Harry Houdini, you're actually coming to a party at Harry Houdini's uh, house. <gasps> so you're gonna be in his living room and uh, taking part in a, in a private uh, a private party on November uh, on October 9th, 1926. And the reason why it was actually that day is because just uh, that was the last time he was ever in his New York City mansion. So you're there for a private party. The guests are coming to see the performance. Harry will be there performing for you. And then I will be pr uh, talking a little bit about his life and some of his uh, so his cool. crazy things he's done. I don't want to give away like the ending, but it, it what happened to Harry Houdini? Well, he, <laughs> it didn't like, go well. Uh, uh, <laughs> he got he actually Sorry. so that's a that's a big myth about Harry is that he died doing the water torture cell that we were talking about. We just talked about this that in the I've yeah. performed on Discovery, but he he didn't die from that. That was how uh, Hollywood killed him in the movie Houdini, oh, starring Tony okay. uh, Tony Curtis. But that's in, not in the fifties. No, he died from appendicitis. Oh my God! That was, oh, some people contribute to a, a punch that he took in the stomach, uh, right in October, so wow. October 1926. Okay. And then I have a really cool KDKA yes. co connection, sort of. So Harry's first appearance on radio was on March 22nd, 1922, on KDKA. Now this isn't from this, but this is a negative from his last appearance on radio, and you can see in that photo this is a, 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 a the negative, the negative from that day and it's considered one of the final images ever taken. It's kind of hard to see on here, but right, I, I, right. I, there might be a, yeah, an image. Yeah, if you tell it the right way, you tell can it see it. Tell it the right it. way, you yeah. can see it. It's kind of cool. It's very old, um, but that was one of the last photos of his life ever taken. So, uh, wow. and, and then, so the, all these things I'm gonna have on display after the show for uh, the people that are coming to see it. So you guys can see, check out some of that cool stuff. But of course, I have, some magic for you guys. Yeah, I know. I knew we you were waiting. Wait. Yeah. I knew you were waiting. So I, I brought with me a little, a little. These are called anything boxes, like anything, but completely empty, completely empty. And uh, I just need a deck of cards. So there we go. We have a pack of cards. Mm, and and so now, now we have a deck of cards. Now the reason why I, we're going to do a card trick today is because well, Harry Houdini was in fact known as the King of Cards. That was one of his titles. And there is a, a, a an amazing story that I tell in the show where Houdini. Uh, he often uh, stated that he could see a trick three times and tell you exactly how it was done. Wow. But in 1922 in Chicago, there was a young magician named Vernon who not only fooled uh, Harry three times with this trick that I'm going to show you, he did it a total of seven times before Harry finally was like, I got to know the secret. So we're going to do that right now. And you're okay. not going to tell us I'm not going to tell you, no. no. But, I, okay. I, but just to recreate that, that, uh, that setting, uh, when Harry did this trick, he, he signed the Four of Diamonds. So we're going to give you, Heather, the Four of Diamonds. I have a, a marker, and you could sign your initials on that card, maybe just your initials. And then, uh, David, why don't you go ahead and, and, and put your initials on it as well? Okay. All right. So we'll get, so we now have there you a go. signed card. Very good. We'll get rid of that. We, we don't get to keep the pen. That's, that's a nice pen. Yeah, that's a nice, a nice pen. One. So we're going to take your signed four of diamonds right here. I want you to watch this card because this is very imperceptible to the eye. If I put that signed card, in the second position. Like I said, this is the trick that fooled Harry Houdini. Now watch, you're gonna see that card, it will go right into that second position. Did you see it go in the I second did. position? Uh -huh. Here's what's thing is he just cast his hand over the deck and just like that, Vernon caused that card to come right back to the top. Now hold on, I'm gonna do that again, I'm gonna do that again. Hold on, we're gonna put the card, make sure that this is really going 
into that second right, position, right? right? Mm -hmm. That's really going into that second position. Again, just a, a little wave of the hand Vernon did, and just like that, he caused that card to, again, travel to the top. Now, now I, I'm going to do this one <laughs> final time, okay? One final time. All right, we're going to watch so even you, closer. So you can I keep watch, getting my head so closer you can and watch closer. as close <laughs> as you can. So watch, I'll put it into the second position. Right, mm -hmm. right. Into that second position. Watch how it, watch, just this uh, time yeah, I, I shake yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And, and just like that, you're going to see it jumps right back uh. to the top. Now, Heather, I'm going to have you, you're going to help me out with the final time. The final okay. time. Okay. Right, okay. The final time. Watch that four of diamonds. Again, I'm going to take it. I'm going to this time pick up about half the pack. Pick up about half. That's good. I'm going to put the, the four right here into the deck of cards. And this time, you're going to see if I do this, a little shake, it's going to come right back to the. Well, oh. a, a, a little shake, it's going to come right back to the. Oh, it, you know what? It, it, it jumped a little further. It came all the way up to there. I knew it. All oh the my way gosh. Up to there. I am. I love always it. Always speechless. <laughs> Your shows have to be so quiet with people either going, <gasps> Or just quiet, like how that, did he do it? That is the sound you make at a magic show. Yeah. You know, we want those oohs and those ahs, <gasps> those those moments of silence and yeah. the digitation, but and then you can keep that as a little souvenir for the newsroom. You. Yeah. My lucky awesome. card. Thank you so much, yeah, Lee. It's absolutely. always so cool when you're here. Yeah, you leave us scratching our heads. I, that's what oh I'm trying God. to do always. Yeah. <laughs> All right, again, Lee Turbosic in the life and death of Harry Houdini. It's gonna be running a Liberty Magic from next Wednesday, October twenty fifth, until Sunday, December third. We have a link with more info on our website, PittsburghTodayLive.com.